Well, good morning, fellow bosses. It's great to see everybody, and thank you to Sinclair. Um, this is such a wonderful uh, symposium that they put on, and whatever you feel is um, exciting to you, that's uh, something you would like to incorporate into your practice, I, I encourage you to take it home with you and, and get started right away. Uh, there's no uh, better time than the present. Uh, if you don't, you're gonna linger around and you're not gonna do it. So uh, that's been something I've um, incorporated into my thought process uh, long ago. So whenever there is something that I want to do uh, that's gonna be beneficial to my practice, I, I incorporate it right away. So it was just a year ago um, uh, at Dental Beauty Boss, I learned quite a bit. I was very excited to uh, kind of be introduced to regenerative medicine uh, in facial aesthetics and um, it's my passion now so I'm really excited to share that with you guys. Um, so regenerative medicine, the future of aesthetics. Um, so a little bit about me, my name is John Hendrickson, um, uh, 27 year general dentistry, um, uh, built my, my practice in 1998, that's the same one I'm still operating within, um, six years in facial aesthetics. Um, in 2018, uh, that's when I kind of launched the uh, um, umbrella concept of the uh, Dental Beauty Wellness Center. Um, uh, prior to that, I was strictly dentistry. So uh, getting a, a little bit of uh, exposure into the facial aesthetic, um, you know, I really uh, fell in love with that as well. Um, and, and things just kind of followed suit. So um, my, uh, my office is composed of three different departments. I have general dentistry, uh, comprehensive orthodontics uh, and uh, a functional medicine practice and um, uh, med spa, Dolly Vita Aesthetics. Um, and now the Dolly Vita Salon. So we're incorporating um, hair uh, as uh, part of our uh, continuum as well as uh, hair restoration in the future. So um, you all remember the, the COVID uh, lockdown. So we had three months to decide what we're gonna do uh, as to um, when we had the big reopening. So uh, I took the opportunity to take advantage of some of the technologies that were um, available during that time, um, uh, Zoom calls, so forth, and then uh, a lot of courses were offered. Uh, I, I'm particularly uh, fond of the American Academy of Facial Aesthetics. Um, so I, I spent that three months studying quite a bit, learning some um, things that I could incorporate as soon as we opened. Um, and that's around about the same time we uh, partnered with uh, Viora, uh, or Sinclair as it is today. Um, we have several devices that we utilize. Um, but as it is today, I'm doing more bioregenerative procedures than really uh, most other uh, hyaluronic acid fillers. Uh, so regenerative medicine and facial aesthetics, uh, I think it was mentioned before, uh, biostimulation of the reparative processes of the face and neck. Um, so utilizing different uh, modalities, there's a, a lot of available modalities that uh, are biostimulatory uh, in my practice. I, I'm fond of lifting threads, uh, smooth threads, um, radius, sculptra, all are biostimulatory, um, uh, energy devices, uh, and then including uh, PRF. So if you don't know the difference uh, between PRF and PRP, um, it's just the second generation of PRP. Um, which is exclusively, uh, I would say 95% um, um, the uh, platelets versus all the cell types that you can find in the PRF, uh, platelets, leukocytes, monocytes, red blood cells, so forth. Um, it really is closer to uh, tissue engineering, I think, uh, in that it provides a, a extracellular matrix uh, in a three-dimensional scaffold. Um, which enables all these cells to uh, have a place to reside and, and be retained and have a slow release of the exosomes and all the uh, cell signaling that, under, uh, that uh, this uh, process undergoes. Um, so there is a wide uh, array of bioactive materials um, uh, within PRF, um, uh, platelet-derived growth factors, the uh, um, uh, VEGF, the uh, vascular um, endothelial, uh, the insulin-like growth factor, uh, um, oh, EGF being the uh, endo, uh, oh gosh, I'm sorry, epidermal growth factor, the transformative growth factor, beta, and small quantities of the uh, um, bone morphogenic prote proteins to 
So, uh, you know, you have everything in there for uh, rejuvenation, uh, regeneration, uh, as well as, like I said, uh, tissue engineering um, within your own body's resources. So the history of uh, PRP uh, first came around by uh, Dr. Robert Marks, who was an oral surgeon. He was interested in uh, doing more along the lines of uh, socket preservation for his patients uh, upon you know, extractions of teeth and so forth. So he came up with the idea of platelet-rich plasma. And again, what I mentioned, 95% platelets. Uh, uh, around 2000, Chokran and Dohan developed platelet-rich fibrin uh, as a second generation peripheral blood concentrate. Um, so it's just simplified uh, using uh, tubes with no uh, coagulants uh, uh, and, and so, or anticoagulants rather. Um, and uh, a little bit more simplified uh, protocol. So then it takes us to uh, 2019 to the present, Dr. Rick Myron, a uh, fascinating individual uh, right here uh, in Fort Lauderdale. Um, he is uh, someone that I really look up to. He's a, a dentist, uh, doctor, doctor, med dent, um, PhD, uh, quite an overachiever, but uh, extremely brilliant. So if you haven't read any of his uh, papers, you really should. Um, 200 research papers and counting that covers the, the topic. So he is the one who is up to date on all the research right now. Uh, and um, so I would encourage you to look up some of his information. Um, uh, BioPRF.com is a good resource, which has uh, all his uh, research, not all of his, but about 50 research papers uh, that are free to download. Um, so again, uh, we talk about horizontal centrifugation, that's, that's important, uh, a decreased uh, centrifuge time um, using uh, higher G-forces, uh, and then plastic tubes which are uh, hydrophobic um, without any additives. Um, and then the development of the biofiller, which is something that is really uh, my passion uh, that I, I'm really excited about and I, I hope that you will be too, uh, because it is really revolutionizing the industry. Um, so how it works, this is really kind of an oversimplified um, explanation, uh, but take a, a blood collection from a patient, um, uh, it gets centrifuged, and then once you uh, have your, your tubes, you separate the albumin from the PRF. The albumin gets heated in a bioheater at a controlled temperature for a, a spe specified amount of time. Um, and then uh, what you see, uh, here in the syringes are basically the mixed um, biofiller. So the, the array of colors there has really no bearing. It's just that I picked up a little bit more red blood cells in some of the samples than others. Um, you know, that, that really has no bearing. It's just more rich in nutrients for the, the tissue engineering that you'll be performing. Um, you know, some people worry about um, uh, uh, staining of the blood compounds, but I've not seen that at all. Um, but if that should ever be a problem, you know, we have IPL to take care of those. Uh, but it's not been a problem whatsoever. Um, so uh, the uh, liquid PRF can be used by itself, um, but when combined with the biofiller, it's really nice for uh, uh, facial enhancement, for volumizing and so forth, and it, it has um, benefits beyond what HA fillers can, can offer. So who's a good candidate? Everybody, everybody, except for those who are active uh, systemic infections, of course, or uh, importantly, um, cancers. You don't want active cancers and concentrate any cancerous cells, and now you have a, an area where you've metastasized. Um, so that, that's a, a real big no-no. But full face rejuvenation, uh, ozempic face, uh, yeah, that's been coming up uh, time and time again um, just because of the weight loss. Um, uh, skin quality, acne uh, clearance, so forth, and, uh, and just regenerative uh, in tissues. So this brings me to something that is really uh, quite interesting, um, and we use this every day. And it's been our workhorse, and it's a small little device, but it packs a lot of uh, punch there. Uh, the Dermafuse, and it's already been mentioned a little bit here this morning, and I think that's because of the, uh, the ease of use and, and the effectiveness of it. Uh, it's a needle-free delivery uh, system. Um, uh, it's customizable, um, no downtime, no discomfort. It's really amazing. It just feels like a little kind of prickly feeling, which is quite exciting. You know it's working. So the ion fuse technology, um, basically it's an um, a electroporator. Uh, electroporesis is just as it uh, uh, states here that it's uh, changing the polarity of the phospholipid bilayer of the cell membrane, opening up little channels, so it allows you to perfuse uh, 
various substances uh, within the skin uh, and, and is very effective. Um, and and uh, as you can see here, the depth of infusion uh, allows up to six centimeters, which you know is quite deep, uh, which is beyond what we would require for uh, skin rejuvenation. Uh, but the important thing to notice is that at one centimeter, 99% of the uh, solutions that you are uh, perfusing are absorbed. So, so that's, uh, that's really uh, quite amazing and, and very effective. Um, you know, certainly uh, right up there with uh, a needle. Um, so uh, what can we treat with uh, PRF and the Dermafuse? Uh, certainly full face skin rejuvenation, hair uh, restoration, uh, melasma. Uh, post ablative recovery, all those are very, uh, very well um, tolerated by the patients, and, and it's very, very effective. Uh, so the needle-free delivery is is, is always um, uh, very well welcomed. Uh, it's painless, it's versatile, uh, even distribution in the skin, and you can delegate. So as a dentist, I, I do a fair amount of delegating, uh, uh, and so um, and. The uh, regenerative medicine in my practice, um, it's really impacted things. Like I said, a year uh, ago uh, at this very symposium, uh, I, I kind of got the catchphrase, the PRF and biofiller, and was immediately intrigued. And so since then, we have uh, gone into full force. Um, uh, so it's enabled my practice to really have um, a, a focus on regenerative treatments. Uh, beyond what we even imagined. So uh, laser facials, biofill PRF are the full first topics uh, in, our, in our treatment planning. And we, we're not necessarily pushing that, but I think people uh, are interested and want to hear more about it because it, it, it's fairly new, uh, especially to uh, non-providers, you know, uh, patients uh, want the information. So, um, you know, uh, they're starting to catch on uh, as, as things uh, progress. Uh, so, you know, we're no longer just chasing wrinkles and trying to decide what to do with just a, a, a few uh, cc's of filler. Um, we can actually, you know, address their chief complaints and, and use uh, larger quantities of, of um, material as well. Since, uh, you know, your patient is the resource for the material, you know, you, you, you almost have unlimited uh, quantities. So, um, you have increased patient satisfaction. Uh, it's natural. Um, I think that's very well received. You know, most people, um, you know, enjoy the fact that, you know, I can use my own uh, natural um, products to enhance my, my skin. And, uh, and it really does look quite natural. I mean, there, there's a difference in, the, in how uh, HA fillers appear, especially if you're using uh, the equivalent quantities, which I don't think you would, uh, you know, because I'm using anywhere from 20 to 30 cc's of biofiller. Uh, depending on the case and, and anywhere uh, up to that point. So, um, you know, record-breaking numbers in the return on investment, mainly because you don't have the overhead that you have on HA fillers. As you know, it's, uh, if you're an injector, it's, it's really quite expensive. So you have to factor that in right away. Um, not that the equipment in itself is, is uh, cheap, but it's very affordable and it's compact, small, uh, and it pays for itself very, very quickly. Um, so again, uh, the, the ROI in, in, in our office, um, you know, ranges from 150 to 900 percent. And it's like, how could you possibly do that? Well, when you uh, consider the fact that the, the um, disposables for the biofiller, roughly $10, something like that, and, and not, not to exclude your time, but, you know, $10, uh, and then you turn that around to, you know, anywhere from 1000 to $1,600, you know, within an hour's worth of treatment. So, so that's why the numbers seem like so incredibly high. Uh, no overhead uh, to speak of, really. Um, and again, you know, the uh, uh, equipment pays for itself. So as you can see, me right there, happy to have a, a, a bunch of, and that's, that's really typical for me to uh, be administering uh, at least that many uh, vials. So um, we're, we're constantly, you know, looking to see how we can sell this better to patients because we know the, the benefit of it and we want them to uh, have the benefit of it as well. So we uh, are building membership packages that include the PRF uh, and Biofiller. Um, uh, we'll be launching the Dermafuse PRF hair restoration program really soon now that we have our Dolly Vita salon. So I'm kind of, I guess, in a way, bringing back the old uh, dentist barber days back when they would... <laughs> Take your teeth out, cut your hair, and, and put some 
put some leeches on you and, and uh, do a little bloodletting. So we have a little, little bit of all those elements in there. Not quite the same, but yet uh, uh, I, 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 I've just run short of the little, the little um, the pole that they used to have with the dent or the barbers. Uh, so um, how, how can you incorporate these services into your practice? Um, it, you know, it's not difficult. You just have to have the desire. Um, but you have to have the training and get uh, some of the current research. Um, for me personally, I trained through the AAFE, uh, became a master injector. Um, Sinclair obviously is a good uh, resource. Uh, Scott Callahan, he uh, is a, a, an amazing injector over on the East Coast. Um, kind of the one that first brought uh, lifting threads to our attention uh, from Korea. Uh, where a lot of this is, is developed and um, uh, amazing, incredible people there. Um, and then again, I mentioned Dr. Rick Myron. Uh, he's just uh, someone that I really look up to. I think he's done a lot of, uh, a lot of great work in the field to bring this to uh, a, a greater uh, opportunity for all of us to, to bring this to our patients. Um, so, uh, so then, you know, you gather your family together. You know, you get some people who aren't going to sue you, uh, you know, that love you. <laughs> Easy to find. Uh, <laughs> do a little practice on them. Develop a marketing plan. Uh, uh, you know, with social media, house flyers, posters, email, uh, and you know, host some events as well. Uh, and then uh, we incorporate this into, this into our treatment planning sheets uh, as kind of our, our higher uh, priority, uh, and it's at the top of our sheets mainly because we we love it. We know the effectiveness of it. And we want our patients to uh, be aware of that uh, as well. So it's been very well received. Um, so here's a, just a few case studies I'm going to whip through real quick. Not going to spend a lot of time, but this is a friend of mine from high school, a lovely young gal, um, has some autoimmune disorders, you know, uh, a little leery about having um, stuff put in her face. So, you know, we, we went the biofiller uh, and neurotoxins, lasers and so forth, facials. Um, and so, again, she just looks lovely. That's all I can say. Uh, this is uh, another one of my, all my patients are my friends, but this is another one of my friends. <laughs> uh, this fella, um, he uh, was ill and had some uh, treatments, some medications, and had a side effect of uh, Steven Johnson syndrome. So he basically bombed out and depleted. Uh, so, so we put him through a few rounds of biofiller, and, and look how handsome he is. This guy, he, uh, he gets up in front of an audience. He's a country music uh, singer and uh, songwriter, so you know, he wants to look good too. Uh, and this gal, again, this is a, 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 someone I've known since, since I was a little boy. Um, she's uh, a, just a lovely individual, had a lot of weight loss, and as you can see, she's a bit of a wrinkler. Um, so, you know, we put her through the paces and did lifting threads, a lot of laser treatments, and then uh, uh, I think maybe two uh, rounds of biofiller PRF uh, up to this point. So. Uh, I, I put those together because we do use biofiller and the PRF uh, in combination. Uh, biofiller typically used in areas where we want to enhance and, and volumize. Uh, the PRF in areas where we want um, acne treatment or, or just skin boosting uh, uh, where there might be some acne scars or, or we just want to improve the integrity of the skin. So those are uh, just um, uh, small um, injections where, um, as Dr. Vang had mentioned, uh, the Interjet is, is perfect for. So uh, uh, another, uh, and young people as well, you know, so they don't have to be old, you know, young people enjoy this. So, you know, 35 years old, you start to lose a little volume. So one round of biofiller and she's loving her face. So she's uh, not too happy in the first picture, but look how happy I made her. <laughs> look at her now. <laughs> um, and this gal, uh, we just love each and every one of them. But, you know, everybody has a story. Everybody has something going on. She had a you know, tragic life event, lost her husband, and you know, depressed, didn't feel good, started not looking good. You know? um, everybody wants to look good, everybody wants to feel good, so we helped her with that, you know, and then uh, you know, kind of helped her get up out of her, of her slump. You know? So she's a dear person, so we're, we're excited to uh, help her to not only look good, but to feel good. All right. So that's about it. Um, I thank you to everyone uh, for attending. I think that you'll take home something really fascinating and, 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 and exciting for you to incorporate into your businesses. I've indicated a few things here for our, my websites uh, that you can um, contact me if need be, my email address and uh, Instagram. So I, I encourage you to 
um, take a look at some of the cases that we have. We have a, a, a wide variety of um, information out there and uh, a lot of good case studies. So uh, I'm happy to answer any questions anybody might have. Anyone? All right. Well, thank you very much.